Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you're finding safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, look at that. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. Let us see what's happening towards you, Scorpio. What is the guided message for Scorpio, please? This is a collective reading. We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship. Let's see what's coming towards you. What can I get for the Scorpio family? If you would like to further connect with me, guys, check out the website. We have a new merchandise. Please check it out. Uh, it's the... Um, aura ritual candle it can be personalized you just need one candle for the whole year to light it up in the new moon in the full moon or to add it on your self-care ritual if you've been in divination you know tarot reading um astrology you know you might as well incorporate now a one-on-one -on -one candle that will represent your vibe your energy the flame that you lit it up it really assists you with having a one-on-one -on -one time and it can be personalized personalized and it's free shipping worldwide you know if you want to check it out it's in the website and of course the usual product services and um the private reading everything is in there so your overall energy okay you're being advised Scorpio to slow down okay the chariot card of four of swords. Um, something tells me that you are being advised to slow down. You know, um, you could be moving in a phase. You could be, I don't know, but I feel like you're in a hurry. But you're being advised to slow down. The chariot card of four of swords. You might miss the opportunity. You might overlook some details, information. And there's beauty in slowing down. Like, if you feel like you're overwhelmed by lots of things around you, or people, or to-do, or tasks, you slow down. Because, you know, it's a reading where it's an overall energy that the more... I'm kind of picking up, like, a vibe where it looks very... Where, where, you're, where are you right now? Or when you click, when you weren't drawn to click this video you might be surrounded by a lot of things to do good stuff you know busy stuff not so good emotions there's good you know a mix of good and i would say challenging energy vibe emotion is around you don't worry like if you simplify it if you simplify it if you slow down it's actually easy 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 so the chariot card of four of swords if you're stepping maybe you're stepping back to your work you're stepping into a routine that you're trying to discipline yourself because part of the overall vibe i'm picking up is that you're back and you need to slow down but if you slow down you feel like you might be behind no because if you do not slow down and you just do it snap do it snap do it snap you might overwork and it will cost you an over, um, sorry, it, you might overlook, it, it might cost you a rework. So it's kind of a waste of time. So you're going to do it again. So slow down, you know, slow down. Yeah, seven swords. You know, if you feel like if I make it fast, then I'll be more productive. No, slow down, slow down. I mean, imagine, you know, I'm, I'm kind of picking up, imagine your house is full of information imagine your brain is full of information you don't know where to start where to process you just slow down you look at the most priority the most intense process it break it up you know you will realize that, okay this is the biggest chunk and the rest are the, the rest like small details so easy to process slow down so if you're struggling to understand to perceive to process or where to start off slow down breathe Choose the most the most intense Scorpio. Okay. Now let's see what else is coming towards you, Scorpio. Okay. So 
you've got the two of swords the sun card okay let's see what's the two of swords um nine of pentacles this is about stability this is a single lady this is about i feel like it's it's a vibe where somehow you don't want to be single anymore you know nine of pentacles okay I'm good at work. I'm good at my job. I'm good at my life. I want a partner. Nine of Pentacles. Your Two of Swords. This is the year. And I'm seeing 12, 12. 12, 12. This is a year where I'm going to give up being single. You know, you're starting off. So the, the initial vibe, the first vibe is that I'm kind of picking up like you want to, like you're struggling with organization. With the second vibe, Nine of Pentacles, this is like, I don't want to be single anymore. Sunshine. This is a week where I start to channeling and manifesting the person, the situation I, I want in romantic. I don't want to be single anymore. You know, I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to have a long-term partnership. I want, I don't want to be single. I want the person. I want a person next to me. I want to go in a cafe, walk in the beach you know sleep at night and having someone next to me or having to you know to go to the bed and say good night darling good night my love good night sweetheart so you want a person you really are so focused on i don't want to be single i want a life with a partner you know nine of pentacles you're not sure like i don't want it anymore i don't want to be single anymore sunshine the sun card judgment card yeah you know, I'm picking up strongly the sun card, the judgment card. I am good. You know, like, you're better now. So for some of you guys, you went through, if this is not romantic, this is this is a vibe um, where I went through a lot and I'm better. I'm stronger. I can. I can take care of a relationship right now. Nine of Pentacles. I'm better. I'm happy. The sun card. You reach a point. I'm actually confident. I'm happy. I am completely... You heal, you know. There's something in this reading that you have definitely healed yourself from something. You went through a lot last year. But right now, I'm picking up. I'm done. I'm done with the old. I'm in with the new. The sun card. You're happy, Scorpio. I mean, like... You're good, the sun card. You're happy. There's a sense of gratitude. Like the sun card, the judgment card. Oh, come on. I've been through a lot, but I survive it. And I'm happy. It's a part of you that I'm good. I'm really good. I want to accentuate my life, you know. I want to have more. You know, I want an additional person. Like, you know, I mean, nine of pentacles, come on. I'm looking at that. You as a nine of pentacles, you're good. But you want some bonus. You know, you want to feel, you want to have something that will add value in your life. If this is not romantic, but your judgment card is on card, because this is contentment, like I'm happy, I'm good. You know, you're looking at 2022 and you're like, okay, I've gone through a lot, but I survived. You've actually gained more. You know, like if you, you, your value has appreciated Scorpio, you know that, and you want your value to to have more bonus. You're telling the universe, I want something specific. This will add value in my life. This is something that I cannot buy. Because <laughs> not a pentacles, you have so much money. Look at that coins, 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 coins. But this is something. Hey, universe, you're talking to the universe. You know, you're. I don't know. For some of you guys, I see you daydreaming. Or you're in your bed and you're daydreaming and you're saying, oh, if I can if I can buy this, I will buy this. But no, this is something I cannot buy. So let me just make an affirmation. The sun card, the judgment card, this is you. You're really going to embody this affirmation. You're not just going to simply keep it to yourself. Like, I want a partner. I want this. I want that. You know, you want something that you can't buy. You know, something that, Something that is connected to romance, like maybe partner, maybe a baby, a lifestyle, something that you can't buy. Something that you have to work 
towards it in such a way that it's something that you want. I'm kind of picking up it's romantic. It's also like could be healthy, you know, because the sun card is vitality. You want Scorpio, yeah. Jupiter and Aries about health and wealth, wellness. You maybe you really want the best version of your body, your health, your wellness. You're, you're going to, this is something that you can't buy. You can't buy love. You can't buy happiness. If you can buy it, you can, you, you will. So there's something that you would like to accentuate in your life, in your lifestyle. That could be a baby. That could be a partnership. Like this is an add on that, you know, you know, it's like also you want to be confident, like maybe body, you know, you want to be the healthiest this year, the most disciplined in terms of your, in terms of your vitality. And you're not just gonna, you know, the judgment card, you're not just gonna say it to yourself. You're gonna tell your friends, maybe you want to change your lifestyle, vitality. So your friends will ask you, let's, let's grab it. Let's grab a drink. No, you're very disciplined saying no, no, I'm changing. Or you go in a restaurant, you're this, no, I'm going to be, you know, um, vegetarian now because I want to fix my gut issue, my health issue. I want to be this person. So there's something that you want to have or you want to be that you can't just buy it. You have to discipline yourself. You have to work towards hand in hand with the universe. You're aligning your karma and dharma, the justice card. You are geared, you're like, I'm kind of picking up, you're really giving yourself the best. You know, you're like, if this, like, there's a part of you that I want to honor myself, this body, this life. I want to honor it. I want to give it the best of the best. So you're working like, you deserve like justice card. I want to honor my, my body, my soul. And I will start by, you know, like, if you can... <clears throat> Like there's something with you that my my soul, my body, my life deserve this wellness journey, this change journey, this lifestyle journey, this partnership journey. It's it it's deserving of that. I know. So you, Scorpio, you're magically calling upon the vibe that will increase your frequency to say, universe, I've got something that I like. I can't do it alone. I, I gotta be needing your help in the universe like yeah no worries five of wands you've got so much we've got so much to do so sorry so for some of you whatever it is you're manifesting you know um there's a there's a conflict of interest in here if you're manifesting romantic um with the hermit card there's something that you're missing for some of you guys if you're manifesting if you're manifesting, I don't think this is connected to money. I think it's connected to lifestyle. I think it's connected to love, you know, romantic. I think it's connected to bigger than life kind of thing in here. Like something that you can't buy, but you have to work towards it. With a hermit card, and you can do it. The vibe, the frequency, the strength, like you, the, the right mindset, the right energy is already within you. Now... This is a challenge, five of wands. Yeah. The thing is, Scorpio, don't look for it in the places where you were not successful. Okay? So, ten of swords, five of wands. The universe like, okay, yeah, five of wands. They've got so much to give you, Scorpio, more than whatever you want. This, the universe sense that you deserve more than what you want. In this year... You've got so much to appreciate, like your value, your network, your confidence, like there's so much that you will get. But there's something about you that you're looking at, you're looking for it with the wrong places. Mm. Two of Cups. No. So the Hermit card, the universe is telling you, Scorpio, if you're searching, if you're searching for this, if you're searching for romance, or you're searching for this thing in the same in the same place, you won't get it there. I'm also picking up, okay, this is what you want. If your style, whatever you were doing in the past, and if it didn't work, you have to stop that. You have you have to have a different strategy. You have to have a different way on how you do this. 
you know you need to upgrade on how you do things on how you will work things so ten of you have been look at that two of cups i feel like you know you will hear a good news and it's not coming from the past it's a new place it's a new person and how will you meet the new person of course in a new environment in a new energy so the universe is conspiring with you okay we hear you we hear you we'll give it to you but don't search for it don't look for it with the same place it's not there you won't find it there so the justice card sorry the hermit card of five of wands you know it's a reading where okay i want a new this i want a new that and you look for it with the same places or the same strategy it won't work you gotta change it two of cups there's something that you need to change you need to be independent i'm kind of picking up you need to really be independent let's be okay yeah two pentacles the star card so for some of you if you're having a wellness or health journey um you go it's not gonna work in terms of diet pills or something it's kind of a holistic approach traditional approach not super duper advanced approach like if you're looking for love your friends would could set you up your work your gym your the, the regular places that you visit there is love in there if you're looking for some sort of two things you want to upgrade your lifestyle. There's something in here that's connected to lifestyle, wellness, and love. It's not connected to the places you visit in the past. No, it's not. It's connected to a new place. It's connected to a new approach. And it's telling you to go to the traditional way. The star card. Because you get a good news, page of wands. The minute you start looking for this, whatever you want in this place, you will get an instant result, page of wands. So for some of you, you could be looking for love, like acquaint, re, like you no, know, be acquainted at work, like also community, community, you know, community. Be active in community. Be active at work. Be friend. Gain a lot of friends and community. There is one community work. You know that's connected to faith, religion, maybe volunteering running marathon sign up for community service sign up for you know those group um hobby activity that's connected to work that's connected to sport that's connected to learning you know for some of you i'm kind of picking up that you can actually take a course a free course offered by the government something like that you will meet someone special in there because nine of wands sunshine you're telling me I want love. I want a new adventure. I want to learn. I want a new hobby. I want a new hobby. I want to learn this. A new hobby. Or want a new body. <laughs> Star card. I want love. Well, you're doing it the wrong way. Whatever your style in the past, do it differently. You know? So for some of you, you're kind of wanting to look at the best version of yourself. Holistic. Traditional. You know? Hiring experts for some... Because nine of wands of sunshine. Where do I look for it? I've already told you. So for some of you guys, don't lose hope. Have faith. Keep the momentum. Keep this vibe. Because it's re it will take effect. In your reading, Scorpio, you will get a result. It's someone close to you. If you're looking for love, it's someone close to you. A new place close to you. A new vibe. You know, you have to carry with you a new vibe that I will get this in a new place, in a new situation, in a community project for some of you, in a places where, where I haven't visited. And try to smile for some of you guys. You visit a place, you try to smile, try to have a conversation. I just got back. I just want to share your story. So I just got back. You know, I just traveled from Philippines and I had stopped over in Sydney. And there's so many people in the world there. There's so many people in the airport. And you're in this, like, I'm picking up, okay, I was traveling with the same set of people. We, we came, you know, we are, we, I'm traveling. I'm on board with the same person who is in the same journey with me. 
So I'm traveling from Manila, going to Auckland. So we boarded the same plane. And I look at everybody in there. Okay, we live in the same place. So if I was really looking for friendship or acquaintance or you know, new love, there's so much around me. So I just do a little bit of experiments and chat, you know. But I chat with a lady. A small chat, a small smile. Oh my God, we went on chatting, chatting, chatting. And I was so happy because we had a stopover. And I've got someone and I met someone. It's a lady. We connected in book. So there's so much opportunity for you to meet people. And then she added me on Facebook. And now she is, um, she's recommending me to do this, to do that. And I'm going to be going back to Sydney again. So we're going to meet. Not with your friend. We just want smile and hello. So every, like the, the universe is telling you here, Scorpio. Look, your personality, you can, your personality. Let me tell you something, Scorpio. You've got the right vibe. You've got the right mindset. Your personality is oozing with confidence and mysteriousness and magnetic. You're such a magnet. Use that. Use that. Use that, Scorpio. So this is your reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. I'll connect with you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.